Hi, I'm Jill Sackert and I'm here to show you how I use a signal fan in softball for our ASA team and our um, high school varsity softball team. We use the signal fan, we have used it for over three years. We use it for pickoff plays, we use it for calling pitches, we use it to move our fielders in and out and over, and we also use it for calling the offense. So I'm just here to show you how the different ways we've used it. There are very creative coaches out there, but a lot of them want to know how I do it as well. So I'm going to show you the first year um, we used the signal fan. We called our signs with our blades upward. So whatever was towards the infield, I gave my signs from the first base side because I like to watch my batters bat, so, and they were all right-handed. So we called it from the first base side, and whatever was towards the infield was what I wanted. If there were six blades up, so red was slap for us, because I said to the girls, if I slap your face, what color would be? It would be red. So red meant slap. Um, blue meant a pivot bunt, and so on and so on. Um, if I had anything down, or if I held it sideways, it meant absolutely nothing. So this looked more like a sign than anything, and so did this, but this is what it was. It was just like that. If I wanted them to steal as well, I would put the green blade next to it too, and they know it was a slap and the runner was stealing. Now, if there's no runner on, it was just the slap. Just like for a suicide squeeze, we would do the same thing. Blue was our pivot bunt, and green meant go, and red, meant run like your heels were on fire. So if I held this up and there was no one on third base, it meant nothing and the girl knew to hit away. But if there was someone on third, we knew it was a suicide squeeze and they knew to run. So that was the first year. The second year, we actually used an indicator blade. We used white as the indicator. So again, this would have been our slap. But if I had more than one blade down, it didn't mean anything and it was just hit away. So that's how we did that for our offense. Um, another time, if I, if I was being scouted and I was afraid, by the way, that someone had picked up my signs, like in ASA tournaments when you play three in a day, sometimes you get watched. So if I thought someone picked up our signs, all I simply did with the girls was reverse it and say, now it's the blade on the bottom. Or I can simply change the indicator blade or I can change the number, or I can hold it upward and have it be the same indicator blade. These all look like different signs to a different coach, but your girls will know because each game you tell them where to look. The colors can stay the same all year long. We also used it to move our fielders in and out. So rather than yelling she's a good hitter, we would tell them if we held the green blade up and we wanted them over, we would just tilt it. And that way we didn't have to scream across the field, we didn't have to build the other team's confidence. And this worked really well for us. For pickoff plays, we used green for third base, we used red to mean a short throw, we used yellow for second base, we used blue for shortstop, we used black for pitch out. So a runner on third, let's say, we wanted to throw a short throw to third base because she's taking an aggressive lead and our third baseman is in, and we wanted to pitch out, we would simply put the black blade up for a pitch out, we would use red for the third baseman in throwing to her, and we would use green to signify third base. And the whole field knew what we were doing and they would know where to back up. So it was really helpful. The signal fan is used in so many sports. It's used in field hockey. They use it to change their defense. They use it for their corner plays. Uh, there's more videos on that on YouTube under field hockey corners. But uh, it's also applicable to football defense and basketball. I know there's some coaches using it to change their defense, to run plays, and to do inbound plays. So the signal fan can use, be used for any sport. This signal fan itself is actually two seasons old. They stay forever. They're just, they're very inexpensive and they last and it's clear signs. If you have more than one coach that runs your offense, like our ASA team, we had two people who ran the offense. I did it and, then, and the man who originated the team. And so our signs look the same no matter who gave it. So it's not confusing at all to the girls. There's no more missed signs. I want my girls to not be stressed about the signs. I want them to know what's going on. So they know exactly where to look for the sign and exactly what color it is, and it doesn't change all year long. So the signal fan is quite a help to help run your team and be clear with your signs. 
Jill Sackert was a Division I softball scholarship recipient from Temple University, playing for Coach Ronnie Marek. She has been a volunteer coach for over 20 years at various levels, from Little League up to high school and U18 travel ball. Jill is married, the mother of three adult children, and works as a dental hygienist. She continues to coach and still has an undying passion for the game. The Signal Fan was born out of that passion. Thank you.